Hey guys, welcome to Porter Valley Ranch. You have seen on some of our previous videos that we have this toolbox here that we call our lambing kit. Whenever a lamb is born, there are a couple things that you need to do uh, in the first day and there are a couple things that you need to do in the first week. So go check that video out. But today's video is about banding a lamb's tail. So when they are born, they have this really long tail and it's super cute because it wags like a little dog tail but it can be a problem later in life. Whenever they go to the bathroom, their tail gets dirty, flies can lay eggs in there, and there's something called fly strike. Super gross, super harmful to the lamb. So you need to make sure that you go ahead and dock those tails. Um, I do not believe in extreme docking where you dock it really close up to their body. I believe that you should dock it where it just covers their vulva and their bottom area. And you can do that by looking at the little flap of skin underneath there is a flesh colored strip and if you dock it right at the base of that strip then it's just about perfect. It's a good location, it's a good point of reference. So what we're going to do is we are going to get our bander out of our kit here. If you have never used one of these before, you put a little rubber band thing on this and then when you squeeze it, it opens up. You slide this up the tail to the proper location and then you just simply pull it off and you leave it there. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do with the lamb is we are going to clean its tail off. So I'm actually gonna use some of this hand sanitizer. You can use some alcohol or just warm water. Um, you wanna make sure that where you put the band, there's not any you know, residual stuff under there because it's gonna be on there. It's eventually going to break the skin and you want to make sure that it's nice and clean so i'm just cleaning it off here with some alcohol once you get it clean there is going to be a little strip of skin and we are going to just put it right at the edge of that skin and make sure that whenever i pull it down it covers everything that needs to be covered we're going to call that the business so make sure it is covering the business get your little bander here we're going to slide it up the tail right to the edge and we're going to slide it off now it's going to pinch them uh, there will be a little bit of discomfort just for a little while you can see though that nice and covers it Sometimes when you put them down, they act like their back legs don't work and they kind of squirm around for a few minutes. If that happens, it's perfectly normal. Just keep an eye on them for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the max. Um, they should just snap back into it, act like they don't know anything's wrong. And if they do, then good. If the 30 minutes goes by and they're still in a lot of pain and you might have done something wrong, might be in the wrong location, so you might need to cut it and, and start over um, with that. You gotta. Another little guy that we're going to band his tail. So same thing, we're going to take this, we're going to slide the ring on to that. I think this is called an illustrator. So this is Faith. Faith is a little Harlequin F1 girl. So we're also going to do her tail today. So we're going to clean. Slide this on. All right, so you can see she kind of walks a little funny, kind of shakes around. Uh, every once in a while, they'll fall down on the ground and just kind of try to roll around and get it off. Um, this one here is about three months old. Her tail was docked, everything was fine. So they've all kind of gone through it. Of course, nursing is a natural reflex whenever you're under trauma. Um, so you want to make sure that you band their tails within the first week of life. If you wait, if you wait past a week, then you're going to need to take them to a vet to have it done because some of that cartilage uh, and the nerves are just too too developed. So we try to do ours about five days old. That way they have a little bit of development, a little bit stronger. 
but by the time you get closer to a week, they obviously get bigger and all of those things happen and it's more traumatic for them. So we recommend at day five, but anytime in the first week is fine. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. We're happy to help. Uh, we're new to the sheep journey too. We understand that there are some things that that are easy, but they're a little bit stressful at times for the first time. So uh, feel free to let us know if you have any questions. We are happy to help. And thanks for watching here at Porter Valley Ranch.